नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओ पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणी न स्वयं व्यास न ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैता मृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायी अंबत्वासंदा भगवदगीते भगवदेशिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एन लाइटनमेंट टू पार्थ द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉड इज शॉवर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन ड्यूएलिज्म कंटेंट इन युअर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माई अफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ री बर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन दी कृष्ण वंदना वसुदेव सुत देव कंस चाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु सन ऑफ वसुदेव द स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एक्सट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ लॉर्ड कृष्ण द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माय सैल्यूटेशंस टू यू श्रीमद्भगवद्गीता द एटींथ अध्याय ऑफ मोक्ष संन्यास योग एंड श्री कृष्णा इज नाउ ऑन द वर्ज ऑफ समराइजिंग हिज टीचिंग्स व्हिच ही हैज गिवन ऑल अलोंग इन द सेवेंटीन चैप्टर्स एंड आल्सो इन दिस एटीन चैप्टर ऑफ श्रीमद्भगवद्गीता श्री कृष्णा हैज टोल्ड वन वन श्योर शॉर्ट वे one uh, 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 way of avoiding all this confusion hmm? what should i do what should i not do i don't want to do it but lord says you have to do it because that is your swabhava swadharma you cannot avoid it the moment you have taken birth you have brought with you all those past tendencies your inherent natures and that inherent nature will compel you shri krishna had said to do whatever has come to you you cannot avoid it now shri krishna for that matter he gave us a very very simple formula very simple solution which is most difficult to follow simple solutions in a sense shri krishna says all you have to do o bharata hmm? o the o descendant of this bharat clan the wonderful descendant of this bharat clan what all you have to do is tameva sharanam gacha sarva bhavena don't think don't put your brains to so much of fatigue that i don't want to do it but i have to do it that is what the lord says you do only one thing just take refuge in him take refuge in the ultimate lord surrender to the lord with whole heart sarva bhavena not bits and pieces not 1% 2% 5% 10% 10% dedication surrender no 100% sarva bhavena tameva sharanam gach just surrender to him take refuge in him o bharat and then tat prasadat param shantim sthanam prapyasi shashvatam having taken whole hearted refuge in the lord what you will get with his grace lord's grace is a must lord's grace without lord's grace nothing can happen so with his grace tat prasadat what you will get param shantim you will get a supreme peace why you should get worried why you should get excited why you should be in the anxiety there is no need you just be in that state of the supreme peace the bliss with his grace and sthanam shashvatam prapisi you will attain to that eternal abode forever then you don't have to come back it is a one way ticket to that freedom it is one way ticket to that nirvana moksha shashvatam sthanam once you get to that eternal abode that's the end of it but for that you have to take complete 
refuge in the lord complete surrender yourself completely surrender yourself to the lord tavtvameva sharanam gacha sarva bhave and on this actually uh, uh, shri ramakrishna has given a beautiful example of uh, shrimati radha Uh, Sri Ramakrishna told once uh, once told uh, the, the, the story to his devotees that once Sri Ra- Sri Mati Radha hmm, uh, uh, Sri 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 Krishna's uh, uh, divine companion in Vrindavan, Sri Mati Radha was told to fetch water uh, uh, for for Sri Krishna with a pitcher. Take this pitcher and get water for Sri Krishna. Now you see the peculiarity that pitcher was full of holes. Now, how poor Radha! She could bring water in that pitcher, which was full of holes. The moment she would fill the pitcher, that pot, the water would start leaking. Everybody was anxiously looking what Radha is going to do now. Radha went to Yamuna, filled the water, and brought the pitcher filled with water, not a drop falling from it. In spite of the pitcher. filled with full of holes not a drop of water leaked out when she discharged that duty for the sake of the lord she had given everything to the lord she had totally taken refuge in shri krishna she had totally taken shelter in shri krishna she had totally surrendered herself to krishna oh krishna if i have to fetch water in this pot full of holes you look to it you take care of it how what do i know and then she brought the pitcher of water that pitcher which of which was full of holes water intact not a drop falling out all the gopis and people who were uh, 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 assembled they were they were dumbfounded they were astonished and they extolled her greatness oh radha what a wonder you have done a pot which is full of holes you brought water in it without dropping a single drop of water radha said it is not my greatness hmm she exclaimed that whatever has taken place was the glory of shri krishna she says who am i i left everything in the hands of krishna i have left my whole life i have left my whole heart and mind and intellect hmm everything i have handed over to shri krishna let him do whatever he wants and he saw to it that okay not a single drop of water fell from this pitcher which was full of holes and she said she was merely an instrument in the hands of her beloved krishna whatever krishna wished that happened my wish doesn't uh, 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 matter any way my wish doesn't have any significance radha said who am i there is nothing of me now everything has been given to krishna so that was the wonderful example that shri ram krishna had told about how to the extent how the extent to which one should surrender to the lord leave everything to him tvameva sharanam gacha sarva bhavena that is what shri krishna had said don't surrender to the lord with the, 5 10 15 20 25% five percent of your heart and mind and soul give up 100% percent. and tat prasada tat and with his grace once you surrender everything to him with his grace you will reach that stage of attaining the supreme peace param shantim and you will get to that eternal abode the shashvatam sthanam prapsyasi you will get to that eternal abode never to come back into this horrible cycle of birth and death so that was shri krishna's uh, teaching to arjuna that don't uh, think much about what is to be done what is not to be done i have said i don't want to do it but i still have to do it forget all this confusion forget forget all this delusion get out of that maya and fall flat at the feet of the lord with everything that you have just give it just do a tyaga just surrender and having told that now shri krishna says in this 63rd shloka shri, shri krishna says iti te jnanam akhyatam guhyad guhyataram maya vimrushait 
विमृश्यदशेषेण यथेच्छसि तथा कुरु नाव श्री कृष्ण सेज इति ते ज्ञानम आख्यातम नाव आई हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड टू यू दैट नॉलेज आई हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड टू यू ऑल द नॉलेज दैट यू नीड टू नो नाव इति ते ज्ञानम आख्यातम आई हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड टू यू ऑल द नॉलेज एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज गुह्यात गुह्यतरम तथा मया गुह्यात गुह्यतरम मया आख्यातम आई हैव डिस्क्लोज्ड आई हैव टोल्ड टू यू आई हैव टॉट यू ऑल द नॉलेज व्हिच इज द प्रोफाउंडेस्ट ऑफ द प्रोफाउंड व्हिच इज प्रोफाउंड ऑफ द प्रोफाउंडेस्ट ऑफ ऑल द प्रोफंडिटीज इट इज द प्रोफाउंडेस्ट नॉलेज व्हिच आई हैव शेयर्ड विद यू यू विल नॉट गेट इट एनीवेयर in the books you will not get it in a textbook you will not get any reference book this knowledge i have told you is the profoundest of all the profundities the secret most of all the secretive knowledges this is what i have shared with you and such a simple formula i have given you to reach that stage of parama shanti and to reach that stage of shashvata sthanam what more you want ओ अर्जुन ते ज्ञानम आख्यात गुह्यात गुह्यतर मैं विमृशैतदशेषेण विमृश्य दट यू रिफ्लेक्ट ओवर इट नाउ आई हेव टोल यू एव्रीथिंग आई हेव नॉट केप्ट एनीथिंग हिडन फ्रॉम यू द सीक्रेट मोस्ट सायंस द सीक्रेट मोस्ट नॉलेज आई हेव शेयर्ड विथ यू नाउ इट इज युअर ड्यूटी टू कंटेम्प्लेट अपॉन इट विमृतशेषेण अशेषण इज विदउट लिव लिविंग एनी एनी एनीथिंग अन कंटेम्प्लेटेड अशेषेण इन टोटैलिटी इन टोटैलिटी यू कंटेम्प्लेट ऑन इट यू डोंट लिव एनी टेट्स एंड बेट्स एंड फोकस ओनली ऑन सम पोर्शन ऑफ दैट नॉलेज व्हिच आई हैव शेयर्ड विथ यू कंप्लीट व्हाट एवर आई हैव टोल्ड यू जस्ट meditate upon it contemplate upon it yatha ichhe and having completed contemplated having meditate upon all the things that i have taught you till now from the second adhyay to this 18th adhyay whatever i have told you you totally completely contemplate on the whole teachings that i have given you and then have it having contemplated having meditated upon it having thought over it what is it that the lord has taught me hmm? having meditated upon it yatha yachasi tatha kuru then you act as you wish you act as you choose you act as you like i have told you what the whole knowledge is all about and that is the secret most that is profound knowledge of all the profundities that is what i have shared with you without keeping anything in reserve in totality i have shared with you you also contemplate on that knowledge in totality not just partially okay this portion of the knowledge that lord has told me i like it so i will mull over it i will think over it i will meditate over it that portion of knowledge i am not interested in no Shri Krishna says, "Don't do that. Make it a sheshena. We mrusha etat a sheshena. Completely in totality, you meditate upon it. You reflect upon it. You reflect over it. What I have taught you, and once you understand, once you truly understand that what I have taught you, once you truly get the grasp of my complete teachings, my total teachings." then you act as you feel like then the choice is yours but before that before making that choice make sure that you have reflected upon all my teachings so that is shri krishna now finally 
uh, uh, telling uh, Arjuna, he's now he's now just closing this particular all his teachings, and he has given the assignment to Arjuna. Now uh, that that this is what happens in our uh, uh, day to day uh, learnings also, isn't it? The teacher tells us something, and then finally gives us an assignment. Okay, you work upon it. Whatever I have taught you, you work upon it. Now exactly in the same way, Sri Krishna is of course he is the Chakad Guru. He is the supreme guru of this entire universe. So he also has given this assignment to Arjuna that reflect upon all my teachings which are the profoundest of all the profundities, the secret most of all the secret knowledges which I have shared with you. Think upon it. Reflect upon it. Meditate upon it. And then you contemplate on all my teachings. And then having understood all my teachings, not leaving any of my teachings misunderstood or not reflected upon, then you do as you wish. That is, the, that is again a choice that Sri Krishna is offering to Arjuna. What a grand, magnanimous heart Sri Krishna has. That... He is not telling Arjuna, you follow all the things that I have told you, but reflect upon it, you must. And then Sri Krishna says, Yatha ichasi tatha kuru. Then, as you wish, you do. You do as you wish. So, there is no compulsion on you. But there is a compulsion. Compulsion of reflecting on my teachings. And reflecting, O she she, no? Contemplate upon my teachings in totality. Having done that, that is a must. Having done that, having understood whatever I have taught to you, having grasped whatever are my teachings, then you are at the liberty of choosing what to do, what not to do. Yatha ichasi tatha kuru. Do as you wish. Do as you feel Okay, do as you feel. Yes, this I will do. So Sri Krishna most magnanimously, he has given this truth, this final uh, 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 advice kind of on all the teachings so far to Arjuna that reflect upon my teachings. And this is the real assignment that Sri Krishna has given to all of us that we need to reflect upon Sri Krishna's entire teachings throughout the second adhyaya of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. A personality becomes great to the extent one contemplates and adheres to the principles. Now Sri Krishna has given us the, he, he has shown the path, the principle he has given. Okay, this is what you should do. Step by step process Sri Krishna has, you know, uh, explained to us Shri Krishna has also explained to us so many alternatives. You can't do this, do this. You can't do this, do this. And Shri Krishna has also showed the easiest and the most effective way of how to behave in this world. How to look upon the duties that have come to us with our own past doings. With our own past doings, these duties have come to us to perform. Now, there is no point in running away, but to perform them wholeheartedly. And how to perform them wholeheartedly? There may be something bad attached to the duties. Because each and every action, there is a good and bad attached to it. Now, how to get rid? How to get out of that bad element of our duties? Sri Krishna says, why you are worried? You just surrender yourself totally to me. Hmm? You surrender yourself totally, totally to me and then like that pot, the pitcher full of holes had, uh, that, that Radhika had. Likewise, our duties will have so many flaws, will have so many evils, will have so many bad things attached to them at times. But if we wholeheartedly surrender to the Lord, those who, in spite of those holes, in spite of those flaws, in spite of those evils attached to the duty, no evil will ever touch us. Not a single drop of water will fall from the holes of that pitcher that Sri Radhika was carrying for Sri uh, for Sri Krishna. 
because she had surrendered everything to him. If Lord wants me to fetch water in this pot, his wish. If he wants me to bring that empty pitcher to him after filling with the Yamuna water, it is his wish. If the Lord doesn't want a drop, even a drop of water to fall down on the ground, even though, though the pot is full of holes, it is his wish. Why should I bother? My duty, I have been asked to fetch water in this pot for my Krishna. That is the only thing Radhika knew. And exactly like that, our duty is, okay, this duty has come to me. Why should I worry that it has so many evils attached to it? It has so many bad things attached to it. It is going to impact so, uh, so many people in a negative way. Why should I bother about it? The moment I is not there, the moment that Aham is not there, the moment that Aham has been handed over to the Lord, Boss, Take care of this arm of mine and I am just an instrument in your hands doing this duty. This duty you have assigned to me. This duty, okay, I have, I, I, I because of my past deeds, this task has come to me now. Let me perform it wholeheartedly. Why I should get involved in it? I am not the doer. You are the doer. You take care of the things now. With that faith, with that surrender, with that uh, uh, attitude, when one takes refuge in the Lord, things become so very easy. And therefore, Sri uh, Krishna, now he has told here that the, the, uh, uh, the, the profoundest of the all the profundities, this knowledge I have shared with you. Think over it. Deeply think over it. Contemplate over it. Meditate over it. Reflect upon it. And grasp what I have taught you. Having understood everything that I have told you. Finally, do what you wish. Hmm? That yatha ichchasi tatha kuru. Such a magnanimous heart that Sri Krishna has. He is not compelling us to do what, is, uh, what he wants us to do. He says, no. Yatha ichchasi tatha kuru. So with that, wonderful uh, teaching of uh, Shri Krishna and that uh, wonderful advice that he has given. We have uh, completed reading of this 63rd shloka. Now, just a, a dozen full of uh, verses uh, now Shri Krishna is further going to tell us in this particular 18th Adhyay towards our journey from this tumultuous ephemeral existence in this creation towards the ultimate goal of moksha through sannyasa, through tyaga. And uh, we will continue uh, our, our uh, reading for the next shloka uh, tomorrow. As of now, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Sri Krishna Arpanamastu. Jai Sri Ramakrishna. Jai Thakur. Jai Ma. Jai Swamiji.